And welcome to another episode of this laser and grave a bunch of crap and see what happens. <laughs> That's basically what this channel is. It's I'm starting to do most of my stuff with laser engraving. And the crappy idea of today is toilet seat lid. So yes, I'm going to laser engrave the toilet seat lid. Something that everybody will do or everybody would use and see proudly. This you got you can get at Walmart. It's um it's the round version. And it just measures small enough to read to put into the laser engraver that I have. It's a Chinese forty watt laser engraver. I'm gonna save the packaging. So this particular toilet seat lid let's do the review look at the grain on this look how nice it is and the lid pops up wow special huh and then you get the little spot down here this is where you sit you sit on here and do your business i'm not going to laser engrave this part here per se because it's too big for fitting into my thing but if the lid is ever closed you will be able to see it I had thought about putting a message inside here, something I've seen online. I thought it would be kind of cool, but I think the top of the lid would be kind of nice. You can actually see the logo right here. Put a name, a letter of a name of a person, or a sports team logo of their choosing. And see what happens. This laser engraved, this toilet lid. This is what it looks like in the band here. The front of it is resting on the, the shaft. This makes this go back and forth. They wouldn't touch that. There's a bolt in the back that I can't get to right now. They would just lay flat. That's not going to bother it too much. It's just going to rub on the bottom. And I got this the center is what I want to get it Let's put this logo. With every crappy idea, you have to have a crappy team, right? So, again, like I said, this is only for a donation for funds for memorial. Um, future ones, I won't be doing sports logo. I'll be like somebody's name or a slogan or something like that. I got it set for 15% for the that. Let's give it a shot. It's the first time I've ever done it. I did some trial with the paper to see about lining it up, and it's kind of for first try. Let's see what happens. I'm going to reset it just in case. I've never tried it at 15%. This is actually the first one I've ever tried, and I don't know if anybody else has done this yet. So if you haven't, here's the first one to do. I'm not sure if 15 is too high or low. We'll find out. Set for the speed is 200. This is using Laser Draw 3. Use whatever software it comes with your engraver if you like it. Great. If you don't, Great. Find something that works for you. Now let's see what happens. I was kind of wondering if it would actually mark it black. Just like it's what it's doing. And it looks like it's a little off, but hey. Do the best that I can do. I did want it to have a black marking on the wood to have some detail. I'm hoping it's going to fill up this whole area right here so you can actually see the logo. And it's off a little bit on this side, but oh well. It's for a good cause. Once it's just done, and we'll get halfway through it, once it's just done, I will clear coat it like all I do, all my wood pieces. And this is what I use. This is a cloth clear. It's, a, uh, it's an acrylic spray. So, it's 
makes it perfect for this environment. Seals protects. Revitalizes. Fast drying. Non yellow. So it's not going to turn color. It just stays clear. So now that this is doing black, I got the exhaust fan going. Let's see what happens. Now that looks pretty sharp. I like it. Smells like money. Check it in on it, see what it would do. What I figured it would do. Since this part here is higher than the rest, the focus point is going to be different. And it's going to be burning less. So. In the future ones that I do, I'm going to have to take that part and back off the nut. I may have to take and reburn this area here. You can see where it's not so burnt on that side right there. I want this fully burnt. Yeah, I admit, looks pretty cool for toilet land. Maybe when they move the back, I'll just look at it and see what it, you know, if it looks okay. Just leave it as is. We're almost done. It's just got to do this one little last line right there. And we'll be done with this. Trying not to there at the bright light without looking at it through the phone here. There you have it. There is a laser engraved toilet seat. So, the grains in the wood, because there's different heights to them, make them burn differently throughout. So you can see this is lighter up here, and this is fainted down here. It's a lighter color. So I'm going to go over it a second time before taking any pictures of it. I want this to look nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to go over it a second time. I think it'll be nice if it's nice and burnt into the wood. It did orientation. The orientation of the wood is almost perfect. Now that I look at it, I thought it was kind of off, but it's hey, not bad for a first try. So we go in the second round. See what happens. And here it is. It's got done with the second run. I'm gonna leave it like it is. I'm happy. It looks a lot better than what it did before. So it is what it is. It does have a nice black look to it and it gets kind of light down here. It's just fine. I'm going to attach it back to its base of the seat. Now this is what it looks like coming out of it. Is that awesome? Now this is a cool looking toilet seat. It's one of the coolest looking toilet seats. And now that I can say that I've done a toilet seat lid like this, if you want one like it, look in the video description. You should find an Etsy link once I get it set up. Like I said, um, sports logos and stuff like that, you kind of don't want to do that because they can sue you for copyright infringement. But if you want your name or something, or an image that you provide to me that you can say, hey, it's mine, then I'll do it for you. So, now that I can say it, I've done a toilet seat lid. And I, I, always, I want to try one on the inside. I've seen something kind of cool about that. It says... 
aim like a Jedi and not like a stormtrooper. I think that's kind of kind of corny and kind of cool. Some people would like that. But yeah, if you want one, uh, look for the Etsy link in the video description. This is cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.